subscribe right now. Hey, what's going on? You know, this is a sad day. So the girls from Russell Simmons accuser, they are all speaking out about how he forced himself on them. And honestly, you know what I got to say, but I think it's disgusting. Do I think he did it? I think it's a good chance that he might have. I don't care. All these good people that you see, you know, all of them are not just that good. Some people have certain bad characters about them, and they only show certain people, okay? So these girls let you guys know what happened to them. You know, their story and their voices do need to be heard. He shouldn't have never did these things to these girls. And um, I can relate to certain situations. I've, I've dated a guy for a year and some change. And when I did not want to be with him again, you know, and I didn't want to continue this situation, you know, it's just he got more controlling. Um, I couldn't have many friends. I couldn't do certain things. And it just felt so much heavy and it felt so stressful. You know, in the beginning, oh, it was nice. He was very love and protective. And shit, I, one of the greatest qualities about him is he's from New York and he's a protector. But shit, I ain't know I need protecting from him. Okay. No, no, no. And um, it was situations where I didn't want to really, you know, see him that much. And he's like, well, I just want to hang out. We can just be friends. And, you know, he would say things like, um... Um, I just want to always, you know, have you to myself. You know, I'm like, uh-uh. See, that's why I don't want to be your friend, and I just think we should just cut it off. And, you know, I was intimidated by this individual. And, you know, he would be very nice. And now, you know, I invite him over, thinking it's just going to be cool because, you know, motherfucker keep on blowing you up and shit like that. I try to be nice and but like well maybe if I see him, you know, and um maybe he'll just leave me alone. Maybe he'll get the message, he just wanna hug, or he probably just wanna talk and vent. Girl, that talking and venting went to him staying in my presence, me being frightened, him trying to force himself, you know, and I don't wanna go more into detail, but um yeah, it, it got so worse in the future where I had to call the cops, almost bust down my door. Yeah, and it gets it gets too intense, you know. I got I, damn, I'm scared to go outside. Okay, I'm thinking is he in the goddamn car? You know, it, you, when you mess with a person's ego, especially a man's ego, and you reject. I don't know. It sometimes it turned to monsters, and it was like it was bipolar effect. I mean, about yeah, it was a bipolar because he would do some strange things, and then the next second he would be so nice. Like, see, you know, like he would bang on the damn door and act like an animal, and then I'd be so scared over the door, and then he's and then he's just so calm all of a sudden. Like, you see what you made me do. And I'm like, this is some bull crap, you know? Anyway, um, let's focus on these people because I do not want this story to be about me. I just wanted to let you guys know, hearing their stories, I've never been in that situation, but I have been in certain situations that make me feel like, you know what? You know, she could be telling the truth. All right, so um, let's play this audio. Uh, let you guys know if you have kids watching, please move them out the house or whatever. All right, DJ, stop the beat. Stop the beat. Okay, go ahead, boo. Tell us what's going on with you and Russell. Many of you aren't describing this just as sexual assault or just as being mistreated by Russell Simmons or sexually harassed by Russell Simmons. No, this is pedatural rape. This is violently tackled and raped. It's rape. While saying no and fighting and crying. Drew Dixon says she was working with Simmons when he allegedly attacked her in 1995. I literally worked for him. He was ordering me a car and he told me to come upstairs and pick up a demo. I thought I would be in his apartment for five total minutes. That's it. And he showed up naked wearing a condom and tackled me to his bed while I screamed and fought and said no and cried. That's rape. 
Salai Abram says she occasionally dated Russell Simmons. I mean, back in the day, we would just say you hooked up. I mean, you hung out. Many of you are describing this just at out. Regardless, she says, that part of their relationship was over before Simmons allegedly raped her in 1994. He'll say, yes, we had a sexual relationship, but he cannot address the fact that I was too drunk to consent. And that the next day I called him up screaming and I attempted suicide. He knew. And I told him why that he had ruined my life and that I had nothing. Russell Simmons said all of his relationships have been consensual and in a statement to CBS the uh, regardless she says that okay I want to say something uh from this regards but you know what it's more to it so we're going to check that audio out too but I just wanted to say something right here you know a lot of people will look at her and I've heard these stories before you know and they will say well y'all was doing it before so if y'all did it before then how can he force himself other times y'all already did it it is so different when somebody takes something from you and you have no choice, no voice in it, and you are so vulnerable and you feel like you, you are, you just have got, you don't matter. Your voice doesn't matter. And just having that power stripped away from you is so devastating. It's so damn depressing. Everybody is going to deal with it differently. Some people, it's going to be in denial and say, well, shit, I, maybe it was my fault. Maybe I was doing some type of signs and I gave off the wrong impression and it's my fault. I'm not going to trip on it. I, I got too much stuff in my life right now. I got to deal with it and I'm just going to leave it alone. And girl, they will depress it and they will feel like it doesn't bother them and then 10 years later they realize they make choices and some girls realize you know what that was not my fault i did not give him the right to do that to me even though we did it before but i didn't give him the right to do that at that time you know and it was not right he took something from me you know and um, shit, you never know where it could drive somebody. You never know where a person's mindset is, you know? So um, I can definitely understand where she's coming from. And I know some people may be so ignorant and think everything is black and white. Well, if you did it with before, then I don't see the big problem. It is a major big problem when you're not consenting to something. It definitely it is. It, it's, it's taking advantage of somebody. It's horrible. It's a horrible feeling. And it's one thing to want it, you know, because some people have these crazy fantasies where, have you ever heard some retarded ass shit when, when a, a good, I guess, looking guy is known or in the news for raping a girl? And then you see some retarded ass comments. Well, she, I wish she would have raped me. I would have gave it to him. Okay, listen, ho, that's what you wanted. That's your fantasy, okay? But when it's not that person's fantasy, that is some serious crap, you know what I mean? That can drive a person in so many things mentally, emotionally, you don't know that person's past. And besides, even if they didn't have a past with different bull crap, it is illegal and it is wrong. I don't care if y'all... And that's why they had to pull that rule. Because, you know, back in the day, your husband could rape you and he can get away with it, right? In certain places in, in, in the world today, a husband can rape you and get away with it. But in America, we have changed those laws because that's not right. Your husband should not be able to force himself on you without your consent, you know? And some people feel like, well, shit, if I'm married to you, it's mine. So I get to do what I want to do with it when I want to do it. That is so disgusting. But you do have people that have that fantasy. I want my man to take it. But you have to real y'all, you too different. Your mindset is different. You like to maybe get degraded by your husband you like to be owned as property you like to be treated like shit you like to be dogged out 
Everybody doesn't like that, okay? It's disrespectful, it's degrading, and it's not cool. Just like some people don't mind. I don't care if you call me a bitch. I don't care if you call me this. You know, it don't bother me. I got thick skin. No, bitch, you just like this and be disrespected, okay? You are so down in the ground. You don't care who the fuck disrespects you. You don't care. You you welcome the shit, okay? As long as you're getting some type of form of attention, you don't care how they disrespect you, whatever. As long as you're getting attention and you popping. Okay? Everybody ain't like that. Okay? So, chill the F out. So, anyway, I don't even know y'all understand what I'm coming from. But, uh, let's go on to this next, to the next video. Alright, so here's the next video. DJ, stop the beat. Okay? So, here we go. Russell, for many years, you know... I met him in my early 20s. Alexia Norton-Jones knew Russell Simmons before he was famous and says he raped her on their first and only date in 1991. This was a very swift attack. And what was going through my mind more than anything was why? Was just a why? Because I liked Russell and I... You know, I would have just kissed him. I would have made out with him. I would have... I, I, he didn't have to attack me. What did he do? He raped me right up against the wall. Excuse my language. But he, that's what he did. I had to keep this secret. A number of women have alleged... Russell, for many years, you know... Uh, I met him in my early 20s. Alexia Norton. That is so sad. And you know what I will say about this? It's just like molestation. A lot of times they say molestation and rape is somebody close to the person. Somebody that knows this person is raping and um, it's molesting them. And a lot of times it is a family member or somebody deemed to care and love them. And same with these murders. A lot of times... Listen, if you're murdered in this world, a lot of times it's going to be from somebody you know, okay? And that is a sad fact. A lot of times, look around, it's somebody that you know, that you won't think that would do that. Girl, 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 I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. If these husbands is going around killing their wives, what makes you think just a human, a, a man that's a friend won't do it? Shit. They'll do it too, okay? I don't pass nothing by nobody. So uh, what do you guys think about this? I'm not even going through the comment section. I just want to hear from you guys, you know? Uh, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Let us know how you feel about it. And um, we just want to know, all right? And I will see you guys sooner than later. Bye.